as the stunner here in North America. It is the official light gun for the Sega Saturn. The gun feels great, the trigger is kind of loose, and isn't as tactile as an arcade trigger. This kit here, that I purchased from a seller on eBay, is supposed to fix that and make the trigger near arcade quality. The kit came with this switch already installed into the bracket, and the seller also included this switch. In case I prefer to switch that require a little more pressure to actuate, I thought that was a nice touch. I personally am going to go with the one that's already installed. There were four variants of the official light gun released, and as far as I know, this particular kit will work on all of them. The seller has many other kits listed for nearly every popular light gun, so let's get started. Okay, we have eight screws to remove here. Now that we have that off, Go ahead and pull out the trigger, and there's this little, there's that little tiny piece of plastic there. We have to cut that off so that when we put our switch in, it actually properly makes contact with it. I'm just going to use my close cuts here and kind of get it flush and as smooth as I can. Now I need to remove the old switch, so I'm just going to desolder it. You could probably get away with just clipping it off with some close cutters, or cutting this piece off of the trigger here so that it doesn't touch the button anymore, but I'm just going to desolder it. So just pull this right out of here. I had a spare set of wires from some car speakers and it fits perfectly on these contacts so I'm just going to use these you could easily just solder a piece of wire to it I'm going to solder this wire coming off of the back of the switch here to this pad right there. Then I'm going to solder the other one to this pad. trigger back in. Just make sure the spring here has a little notch that sits in down there. And then when you put your trigger in, the other bend in the spring will fall into that notch. Now that I have the board in the right way, put it in there upside down. This should actually go back on. The trigger feels much tighter now than it did before. It does feel very close to an arcade trigger. I ended up changing out the switch for the other one that it came with. The one that was originally installed didn't really feel much better than the stock. Overall, I would say that it's definitely worth the $14 it costs. It's relatively easy, something I'd say a beginner could do. And if you're really into light gun games, it's a must-have. 
Well, that's it for today. Hit that subscribe button to see my new videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time.